In today's video, we're going to take a look at 3D filters. So the 3D filter option can be found in a few of the ribbons up top here. The first one, assign resources, it's right at the end. Next, within the 3D ribbon, it's just a little past center here. And then lastly, under navigator, it's uh, right in the center. So once we open up the 3D filter option, you'll see here we have three different options, the 3D by selection, 3D object filter, and same as task filter. So let's take a look at this first one here. So the 3D by selection is just simply selecting on your screen here, right? So we've done the selection. I'm going to right click, go to filters. Now I have the option, I can isolate select it. So as you can see, everything that's been selected is isolated or filter, I can go show all, and now I could go hide selected. So now you can see everything that I selected there is hidden. Also when we go to our filters, you'll see here that the 3D by selection is checked off. If I uncheck that, we'll see everything again. So next we have the 3D object filter. Uh, that's just uh, a basic 3D object filter from our options here. We'll go over all these options a little later in the video. The next we have here is same as task filter. So if we go back to our filters here, you might remember we had the two week look ahead. And as you, we scroll through our timeline, you can see we have a two week look ahead of all this, the activities that are supposed to be happening, right? So now if I turn on the go back to the 3D filters and I turn on the same as task, so I would activate it and select it. You'll notice now what that does is it's only going to show me the objects that are associated with that task, right? So the same as task filter. So as we scroll through, we're only going to see those objects assigned to that task. So if I deactivate, now if you notice, we go through and I'm going to see the whole project here, right? So we'll turn off that task filter and go back to our 3D filters. So next, we're going to want to create our own filter. We're going to right click and put add and we'll just call it training. So now that we've got our training filter created, we'll start to go through kind of the options on the side here. So of course, you, of course you've got your include exclude pretty self-explanatory it's going to include any of the matches exclude any of the matches right then we have our name task filter resources last resource status filter company 3d user fields and codes and last we have our filtered objects so this is going to give us the ability to have them visible change the color we'll go through this later on in the training Next, we'll go and open another 3D window by selecting our 3D window icon at the top here. Then we're going to want to go up. And what I want to do is I want to link both of my 3D windows. So now you can see that they're both linked. Whatever movement I make uh, are in parallel rates. So I did that again by camera, link all, and I linked both of my 3D windows here. So now let's go take a look at my training uh, 3D filter that we just created. So now if I select name here, it'll open up. So now if I want to see, uh, let's say, let's say deck, you'll notice nothing happens, right? So what we want to do with the 3d filters is there's no check boxes right is there's activate deactivate so i want to activate in my selected 3d view i can activate in all 3d views but for this i only want to do the one so now you can see the deck any uh, any resource that has deck in it is being filtered right so now if we go to our 3d view properties and I go up to my filters you're gonna see this is gonna tell me exactly what I have uh, filtered right so if I wanted to add another filter to this uh, 3d view I can go activate selected filter now I have same as task you're gonna see 
there's the two arrows and an X. I can use the X to delete. I can move the same as task filter above or below. We'll get into that a little bit later, but I'm gonna get rid of this same as task filter. I just wanna concentrate on my training filter. So we have deck, uh, we could try, let's do piles. So anything with piles, and you see it's only filtering in my selected 3D view, right? Now let's take a look at some of the other filters on the list here. So we have task filter, that's, that's the same as the task filters we went through on our previous training video. Uh, basically gonna be a filter with any of the selected tasks. Next we have our resources. So with this, if we go up to our resource, this is where I can pick and choose resources from the resource tree. Last resource status. So this is something we'll look at in uh, the more advanced training, but we can assign resource statuses and filter by those. Same with company, right? Similar to the uh, the task filters, we can I can go into company, anything. We only have the one company, but I'll be able to see anything assigned, any resources assigned to tasks that have this company in it, right? So 3D, similar to the resource tree, it's just your 3D tree that we can uh, pick and choose from. And then we have user field. So with user field, we can search by any user field that we know, uh, basically a resource property. So if we go here, we take a look at this here, we can use any of these resource properties. Put host in here, we can search. So now I can see, I can check this off. Anything that has a user field with host ID, and now you can see here, host ID 200 uh, MMCW. So now if I wanted to see everything with 2000, let's type that in beside 2000. It doesn't show me anything, right? But if I use a wildcard, the star, now this will give me everything. What the star does is it, uh, it's a wildcard for anything after, right? Next, we can use this for units of measure. As you can see here is that we have area. So if I went unchecked and I put area, it'll give me any 3D objects or resource that has area, right? So as we can see here, there's six meters. So again, if I put a six, it's probably not gonna give me anything, but then if I use that wildcard star, it's going to give me everything that has a six area of six could be meters inches whatever it just has a unit of measure of six so next what we'll take a look at is we'll go back to our general and then let's use our name so we have under our name is we have our piles here so now what we can do is with my filtered objects, if I wanted to, I could update the color of my filtered objects to blue. Notice how nothing changed. It's because if we have to go and actually change our color mode here. So if we right click, we go color mode. If I go 3D filter, now we're gonna see all my piles are blue. So if we go back to our 3D view in our filter tab, we have an unfiltered section, right? So as you can see, as we have our uh, training 3D filter activated right now, and we have our name. So now I could go unfiltered, I want them visible, and I want them to be, uh, let's do it, maybe a yellow color, right? So there we go, now we have all our Piles is blue, are unfiltered as yellow. So now what I can do here is let's select a piece here and then I want to go create, sorry, filter. And then I want to go create filter from selected. Let's call it test. 
All right, so now I have a filter here. Now you can see it's giving me the option we have test. I can go and I can again, if I want to put it, I don't know, let's make it, uh, a, we'll do a green color. Okay, now what I want to do is make sure I have my 3D window selected and I can go activate and select it 3D window, right? So now when I look, I have blue, yellow, and green, right? But if we look here, and I go down to my test is on top. Now, if I move that down, you can see here is these green ones that we have two selected. They'll go blue and green. It's all based off the hierarchy, right? So on my test, my training, so let's go for the test. Let's change this to all unfiltered as maybe a red. Okay, so now you can see it's changed that to a red, if I move that down, you can see how the hierarchy works here, right? One more thing I wanna add before we finish this video is we can use our 3D filters and I can select filter 3D objects and use that as a selection method as well. And then when we go up to filters is, I wanna show you some of the shortcuts as well, right? Is there's the, Isolate is Control Alt S. The hide is Control Shift H. Create filter from selected. The quick uh, method is Control Alt F. And then to add selected to filter is Control Shift S. And then remove uh, selected from filter is Control Shift D. So that pretty much wraps it up for 3D filters. Take some time after this video to practice the filters and the different settings.